you know, growing up, I'd hear stuff like money doesn't grow on trees or boy, do I look like I made a money to you. And pretty much anyone who taught me or had anything to say about money all had their own ideas of how to make money, all of which are outdated and impractical when it comes to today's standards. And I'm about to share some information with you that I highly suggest you embrace because one of my biggest frustrations about money is that I feel like I learned valuable information about it too late. Like, even though I'm still pretty young, I know that if I could start over with this information I'm about to give you in this video, I'd be killing it right now. And that's why I share valuable information with you in every video because I know you probably feel the same way. I know the feeling where you're like, why didn't I learn about this earlier? Why hasn't anybody taught me this? I know. And this video is my attempt to seal that gap so you don't get left behind. This video is going to be cold, and I got a lot to say in this one. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth, where I show you how to save money and make more money, all while bettering yourself every single day so you can live life on your own terms. Let's get into this video. What blew my mind the most out of any money lesson I've ever learned in my life is that your primary source of income doesn't have to be your job. Like, there's actually legal ways to make way more money than you're making at your job. I'm talking double, triple, quadruple. But I was always told to pursue that good degree that'll give me access to a high paying job. See, where I messed up there was I didn't challenge that. Like, what even is a high paying job? Is it a high paying job just because he says it's a high paying job? Because between me and him, we might have two completely different definitions of what a high paying job should be. So what happened is I ended up going to school and I found myself working very hard and diligent in a field that I was very good at, but I wasn't passionate about it. I'm just being transparent with you. And I did land a high paying job afterwards, especially when you compare it to the amount of money people my age were making at that time. But did that really mean anything? Not without the information. Because I'll tell you something, and if you're familiar with this channel, you hear me say this every now and then. I hated my first job, and I was terrified of losing it. That's an awful spot to be in. That's like being in a relationship you hate. Like you can't stand the person you're with, but you're terrified of losing them because of the financial stability that they provide for you. That's crazy. That's not how we're living. Not in 2021, not in 2022, not ever. You know what I'm saying? But you fall into that trap when you don't know your self-worth. And it's the information you don't have that can put you in a position to have to rely on the one thing that you've got. And the one thing that you've got might not be something that you like. And that's a very sad reality to live in. The ultimate goal for anyone who relies solely on their job as their main source of income for their lifestyle like food, water, a roof over your head, having fun on the weekend. If your job is literally how you live your life right now and if it disappeared out of thin air tomorrow and your lifestyle would cease to exist, your number one priority should be to figure out how to make money outside of work. And that's what me included. I'm not saying you should quit your job or anything like that, but I am saying that you shouldn't bet all your cards on it. Because if something happens and your company shuts down or if we have another virus that shuts the whole world down again, or if they just straight up let you go, you're gonna be scrambling to find something else that may or may not be available. And even if it is available, you might not get paid as much as you did at your last job, which will put you in a position to have to figure out how to make money outside of work anyways. I mean, even though everything I'm about to tell you in this video is considered risky by most people, nothing is more risky than relying on just one way of getting paid. So when I came to this realization, I started looking up ways on how to make more money. And that was where I realized, wow, I didn't know that YouTube could be so profitable. I didn't know that you could sell stuff online and actually make a lot of money doing it because people actually buy them. Because growing up, whenever you try to do something other than going to school to get a trade or a degree, your family or your friends tend to shoot you down. Some of it's because some of them are haters, but a lot of it is because they want what's best for you. They think they're looking out for you. They don't want you wasting your time and energy. That's commendable, but I know way too many people who wasted the same exact time and energy on a degree that didn't pay off. And in some cases, they switched majors over and over again, and to this day, they still don't know what they want to do. Now they got to pay off debt with money that they don't have. That's scary. And you know what's even worse? It's scary to think to yourself, oh my God, what if I lose my job? I'll lose everything. I have nowhere else to go. I don't have any money saved up. Those are scary things to say to yourself, and the list goes on and on. But I'm going to tell you this harsh truth right now. If those thoughts even cross your mind, it's because you're behind. Something is missing, especially if you don't have any money saved up and you solely rely on your job to pay you. 
And I realized that this is a position that a lot of us are in. And I used to be that guy saying those what ifs. I used to be terrified of going to work because I thought I'd be fired. And if you don't believe me, go watch my videos where I talk about how I quit my job. If only I knew. If only I knew what I'm about to tell you right now. The one thing I learned way too late in life about money was passive income. I had no idea it was possible for me to make money in my sleep. And now I'm actually doing it four years after learning about it. That's what's so frustrating to me because even once you've gotten the information, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to start seeing results. Especially if all you learn is that it's possible to make money in your sleep. Like you actually have to figure out a way to make passive income in such a way that works best for you. That can take a long time, like years in some cases, but I didn't know there was an easier way. So I'm gonna give you an example of how anybody watching this video right now could have been making passive income this whole time. Usually when you get a full-time job, they set you up with a retirement account and it's usually called a 401k. And a lot of us don't get taught about that in school. And if you do, it's usually really brief and they give you unrealistic expectations about your retirement. But that's another story for another day. Anyway, here's what I didn't know. Earlier I talked to you about stuff like YouTube and selling stuff online, which are both business-based things that can definitely earn you passive income and make you more money than you're making at your job. But to be honest, stuff like that can take a lot of work and it can be very difficult to build a brand where people have so much trust built in you and they feel so invested in you that they want to buy your products or services. And it's just not for everybody to do. So keeping in mind that building a profitable business that generates hundreds, thousands, or even millions of dollars can be one of the hardest things you ever do, one of the simplest, easiest things you can do is invest in the best businesses in the world. That's the biggest mindset shift that finally clicked in my brain this year. And it's definitely not a concept that I came up with on my own, but I say that because companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Adobe, PayPal, Square, companies that I have my money in, they gave such ridiculous returns over the years. I didn't have to build a business strategy for Apple or Microsoft. I didn't have to go to any high level meetings. I didn't have to research or develop products for them. I didn't have to build either business from the ground up. All I did was I simply put some extra money into those companies and I bought a few shares of them every month. Had I started doing that on my own five years ago with Apple, I'd be up 470% per share. If I did the same for Microsoft, I'd be up 456% per share. So what I'm saying is both have more than quadrupled in price in the last five years. And if you, me, or anyone else watching this video have been buying shares of these companies every month starting five years ago, we'd all be sitting on gold mines right now. But we didn't have the information. And back then I had always thought about investing, but I was always told that it was too risky and it's basically legalized gambling. And I was met with, well, what if the stock market crashes? Then what you gonna do? And when you don't understand or know much about investing, those words can paralyze you to the point where you decide you're not gonna invest at all or learn about investing. Long story short, if I had just educated myself and I had just read up on the future projects of Apple and Microsoft like I do now, if I just took the time to learn about the CEOs of the companies and who they were and what they were about, what the company vision is, how profitable they were, and if I just looked at both their charts and saw how they were trending at the time, I would have known everything I needed to know about both companies to know that they were both safe investments. And at the end of it all, I just felt like I learned this information too late. Like that's a lot of passive income left on the table after just a five year period. But we're told, hey, just have one retirement account. Your 401k alone is good. You'll be able to retire by the time you're 65. Well, first of all, who said I wanted to wait until I'm 60 freaking five to retire? Second, they tell you that having anywhere between a 4% to an 8% return is good, but they're really not good because if you really learned and studied the top companies in the world and you saw what their average return is, it's way more than 4%, 8%, and even 12%. But you don't know what you don't know. Oh, you say you want another example? I got you. Check this out. Last year, I was quarantined, sitting on my couch by myself peacefully, and I had my phone right in front of me. And it was nothing but peace and quiet all around me because, you know, the world was kind of shut down. And I came this close to buying a Bitcoin, like when they were less than $6,000. And I didn't do it. I'll give you another one. At the beginning of this year, I almost bought some Ethereum. Bitcoin is now 50 something thousand dollars per coin. And Ethereum has more than quadrupled in its price. So now it's over $4,000 per coin. I just want y'all to know, I'm not an expert about this stuff. I have never spoke about cryptocurrency on this channel, but I'm telling you right now, 
both of those are here to stay and they are the future of finance. I'm just putting that out there right now. But I chickened out last minute on both of them and I missed out on some gains. Again, leaving money on the table, not having the right information. Like the information was available to me, but I didn't have the desire to go after that information. And because of that, I didn't have an understanding of what either of them were or where they were going. And now, you know what? You know that show Black Mirror? Now we got stuff going on that I would expect to be seen in that show. We got some Black Mirror stuff going on. Like the metaverse. Like companies are literally talking about these mind-blowing concepts that sound like they came out of a sci-fi movie, but they're happening for real. So what I'm saying is, let me calm down. So what I'm saying is, there's new opportunities to make money every single day. There's opportunities to start a side hustle, a business. There's opportunities to invest in stocks, bonds, real estates, even cryptocurrency if you're like me and you have a high risk tolerance. I'm just telling you, there's so much in the world that's changing right now, and I do not want to be that guy at the end of it all saying, I wish I knew. Because then I'd be sounding the same exact way I was sounding a few years ago, which would mean that I learned nothing from my past mistakes. See, when I was growing up, people would laugh at you for bettering yourself. They'd laugh if you were the type to read and learn. Now, all of a sudden, to them, you're lame and you don't know how to have fun. Everybody wants to secure the bag, and that's all they ever talk about on social media, but no one wants to actually sit down and learn about how money works and how to get it. And you know what? Sometimes the information is going to be boring. So what? School was boring, and we all went through that for 17 years of our lives. Don't be the person saying it's lame to read, it's lame to learn, and then 10 years, 20 years from now being the same exact one complaining about how life isn't fair because you didn't have the information. Don't be that person saying, oh, it's boring. I don't give a crap how boring it is. If it can change my life, I want it. Don't be that person saying you didn't have the information because that would be a lie. There is an abundance of information all around you right now, and all you got to do is want it. And that goes for everyone watching this video right now. If you found this valuable and you learned something new by watching this video, don't just sit on this information and not do anything about it. Because even though you may not have known some of this information before, you definitely know now. So now it's on you to improve your life tomorrow by the decisions you make today. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.